everyone. Today I'm going to show you a quick game called Nim that you can play at home. It is a two person game and it's very simple. So all you'll need to do to play today is grab 21 objects, small objects. So I'm using pieces of Lego today, but you can use anything that won't roll around. Here we go. Today we are going to learn how to play a game called Nim. I did not invent this game. If you Google NIM, N-I-M, you'll find lots of information on this game, and there's lots of different variations, some different ways to play this game. So we're going to show them how to play with, we just have Lego pieces, but you can use any object, you can use anything that doesn't move around. So we chose Lego because we have a lot of Lego here. And we are using 21 pieces of Lego. You can play with almost any number of pieces, you can make your your triangle bigger or smaller, but I like 21, I think it's a good number. And to set up the game, I set it up like a triangle where the first row has one, then two, then three, then four, then five, and then six. You don't have to set it up like a triangle. Though. You can set it up in any shape you want, as long as you have a clear row. You must have clear rows because to play this game, when it's your turn, you're going to pick up as many objects as you want from one row only. And the goal is to make your opponent pick up the last piece. So the goal is to not be stuck with the last piece of Lego or whatever you're using. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, you can go first. Okay, I'm going to take two from this row. Mm. I'm going to take all of this row. So Juliana got stuck with the last piece. But it's a really simple game to play though. So you can play it with any type of object you want. I like doing it with 21 and setting it up like a triangle, but you can really set it up any way you want as long as you have clear rows of things. So another way we like to play this game is with a poppet. Poppets. So who doesn't love poppets? We've got lots of poppets in our house. And you can play this game with whatever poppets you want. So most poppets, or all of our poppets, are divided into rows. So that makes it perfect for this game. So which one do you want to play with? Mm -hmm. My favorite. Okay, so make sure they're all unpopped. So make sure they're all facing up. And it's the same thing. You can pop as many puppets as you want in one row, and you don't want to be stuck with the last, what do you call it, bubble? You don't want to be stuck with the last one pop. Do you want to go first? Okay. Oh no, there's just one. There's no room for a bubble there. Do you have a strategy when you play, or are you just? No, because yeah. I have no idea where you're gonna put, where you're gonna do your so I have no mm -hmm. idea. The the more you play this, the more you'll get down to a strategy, especially when there's only a few bubbles or a few rows left. This is what we were down to last time, two and two. Do you remember what you did last time? You took away a whole row, which left me with just two, which was easy for me to leave you with just one. So do some, try something different this time. Uh -huh. Now you're putting me in a position where I could either pop one or two for this one. 
Yes, you pop. If I just pop this one, then what happens? Can you win? Yeah. You can win. You make me pop that one. Yeah. Or you so, could have just popped these two, and then then um, And I could have made you lose that last one. Yeah, that was nice. <laughs> so there's a quick and easy game of logic that is great as a map format that you can play. Fun? Give it a try.